Hi everyone uh, and uh, welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah and in this uh, tutorial series that is advanced python programming I talked about meta classes and stuff like that. How can we create objects? Now this what I'm about to teach you is completely even next level apart from meta classes. I mean what I'm trying to say is basically we are going to learn state of the art descriptor techniques. I'm going to show you a couple of examples uh, what descriptor is basically. So let me tell you what descriptor is about. So think a descriptor, uh, let's say I want to define my own data type. So let's say you're using Django or SQL Alchemy. So who the people who are Pythonists, you know what I'm talking about. So whenever you can declare like a variable, uh, let's say you want to declare um, a, a, a string variable. So how do you define, you say name inside a class, you can say name equals to string SS capital string, you know, or integer I N T E G I S capital. So you define your own data types, you define your own validation techniques, state of the art. Yeah, this is done using descriptors. So uh, in this we use is, we use several classes. We use like more than six to seven classes, inheritance and uh, Dunda methods and stuff like that. I'm, I don't want to scare you, but I want you to learn this. And if you learn this, this is completely amazing. What you can do with Python. I mean, you can implement this, your own data type, descriptor, meta classes, design patterns, and this is just out of the box. So let me just give you a very small demo of uh, what descriptor is and what is the power of descriptors and how efficiently we can use descriptors in our day-to-day -day, uh, Python programming uh, uh, languages. So let's not waste uh, much of the time and let's get back straight into action. I'm going to show you a couple of four examples on descriptor that I wrote and this is just amazing and you will be really amazed on what descriptor can do. So let's um, join with me on the examples of descriptor. So welcome and let me just show you a couple of examples on descriptors and what is uh, a, the true power of Python lies in meta class and descriptors as I was talking. Uh, let me just arrange my uh, webcam a little bit uh, perfect. All right, this, this should be good. Now I'm going to show you the state of the art code. Uh, all right. So let me just close this window right here. All right. So this code is just amazing. Uh, do not worry. Let me just show you the driver program. Uh, let me go to the test six uh, because that was the best stuff so here you can see uh, i have um this is a simple class you can define a class right now this is my own data type size string so i i define my uh, size string equals to a eight so you cannot pass string more than eight characters long this is our own data type how can you implement this aren't you like excited to do all of these like think about this positive share equals to positive integer i define my own class known as positive integers and it cannot be negative if you say negative it will gonna give you error and see the logic behind this everything i mean this is just amazing so here you can see i have a descriptor class i have a typed uh, typed class which inherits from descriptors uh, this does a type checking then i have a positive integer then i have size descriptors then i have signature i'm writing my own signature then i have all these class which basically checks for uh, the data type int float and string that's what i defined here then i have <laughs> then i have structure meta class this is a meta class which will create an object and um, stuff like that then i have this structure meta class which inherits from struct meta and then finally or this class I know it's a, it's a little complicating, but if you learn this, it's going to be really amazing. Okay, let me just show you one more. Let me just run this. I'm going to show you something even better than this. All right, so here you can see set method was called and uh, this works. So the object is created, right? Now let me show you one more method. Uh, this will blow your mind. So let me go to the test function. Now I implemented singleton also in descriptors. I mean, I, I included design patterns in this. So just want to show you the true power uh, of uh, meta programming, right? So here you can see similarly, I have a name, which is a string. I have shares, which is an integer. I have a price, which is float. Then I have positive integer. Then I have size string. I can define my own data types in Python with the state of the art descriptor, singleton design pattern. Uh, here you can see um, um, these are all uh, similarly. Here if you go to the class uh, structure, Similarly, I have a descriptor, then I have a type descriptor, which checks the type, uh, which basically checks all the type checking, data type checking, positive integer, size descriptor. Then I am combining multiple inheritance. For example, uh, let's say positive integer, it, it inherits from integer and positive both. So I don't have to write every time a lot of code. This is amazing, I'm, I'm telling you. So uh, similarly, struct 
meta class you have meta class and i included design pattern in this <laughs> so uh, i did that as well then i have my structure meta class which inherits from struct meta and finally your oh, this is your class state of the art amazing so let me just run this and here you can see it's calling the set method and stuff behind the scenes now who should program like this if you want to make libraries if you want to make packages if you want to contribute to the society i mean to the python community in an in an amazing way if you know this kind of programming it's just amazing and if you know decorators and everything that i talked in my advanced python tutorials i mean nobody can stop you i mean it's just you now <laughs> i mean so uh, this is the true power of python uh, if you know uh, so i want to tell you a message guys don't try to learn seven different language one take one language go in such a depth be a master that nobody can even like question you you can say hey i know this stuff in and out i am the best in this stuff you can talk confidently about that programming language so i hope you have enjoyed uh, this informative session on descriptors coming up tutorials on descriptors so you will enjoy a lot and uh, if you enjoy this tutorial and if you find that this uh, sessions are really very informative please if you can share my uh, uh, video to people whom you think uh, might be useful that would be really great you can also connect with me on my youtube send me a comments uh, i i usually read your comments and i love to answer them or send me an email at s h a h s o u m i l 519 at the rate gmail dot com. Once again, thank you so much for all the love and support uh, that you gave me on my channel. I started with like one subscribers, ten subscriber, and today I have about two thousand six hundred subscribers. And hope to keep a lot of good contents for you guys. Coming up next is also on AWS Greengrass. I'm working on that as well. So stay tuned. Keep programming. Keep practicing. And cheers to Python.